Welcome to the Signal RGB Frequently Asked Questions video. Let's dive right into it. Why are my devices flickering? If you're seeing your devices flickering like this, don't panic. It's harmless and it will not damage your devices. The reason this happens is because you didn't completely uninstall all other RGB applications before running Signal RGB. If there is more than one app trying to control the same device, then it will start flickering. Simply go into your control panel and uninstall all the other RGB applications and then restart your computer. If you did this and you're still seeing flickering, then it means there's still another app running conflicting processes in the background. And you'll want to see what it is inside of Task Manager and then get rid of it. This flickering can also happen if you have other applications running on another account on the same computer. So make sure you close or uninstall the applications on there as well. Will my devices ever get supported? Your device may get supported in the future. And how fast that happens really depends on how many people are requesting the same device. We prioritize devices based on demand. It's also worth noting that some devices are simply unsupportable because of hardware limitations, or some devices can be supported, but in a limited way, which is again due to hardware limitations. A good example of this is how some graphics cards have multiple RGB zones with preset effects in their native application. But with Signal RGB, you can only control it as one RGB zone. Does Signal RGB support Red Dragon, Drop Control, GMMK, and so on? Yes, we technically support over 300 of these types of keyboards, also known as Quantum Mechanical Keyboards, or QMK for short. They require you to flash the firmware in order to make it compatible with Signal RGB. I'll leave instructions and detailed information about this in the video description. How do I create my own RGB effects? Signal RGB lets you create virtually anything using HTML and JavaScript. And we have a ton of documentation to help you get started, which I'll link in the video description. It might seem difficult at first, but it's actually really easy to pick up. With our system, you can create amazing effects very fast and you can even share these files with other people. We actually have a channel on our Discord server that's dedicated to sharing effects. What keyboard and parts are used in your videos? There's actually two different setups we film with and I'll link the PC part pickers for both in the video description. The keyboard used in both setups is the Element V2, which is at a super low price now. Why aren't my RGB fans or strips detected? Some devices like RGB fans, strips, and other PC components connected to RGB controllers need to be configured first so that Signal RGB knows what you have connected to them. You can watch our components tutorial, which I'll leave a link for in the video description. If you're already familiar with this, but your RGB controller isn't showing up in order for you to configure it, then it's because it's likely not supported yet. Can I create my own custom component? Yes, you can create your own component if Signal RGB doesn't already have one for your device. You can create one with some light coding, and I'll leave a link to the tutorial for that in the video description. You can also use the unofficial component generator that doesn't require any coding, and that's also going to be linked in the description. Why isn't my RAM working? If you've confirmed that your RAM is supposed to work in Signal RGB and it's not working, then there's a few things you can try to resolve the issue. The first is to update your chipset drivers. For Intel, you can use the Intel Driver and Support Assistant. For AMD, go to amd.com support and then download and install the latest chipset driver for your processor. Make sure to power cycle your computer after installing new chipset drivers. The second thing to try is to update your BIOS. Google your exact motherboard model, followed by the words BIOS update, and then follow the instructions on how to update your BIOS. Why is Signal RGB detected as a virus? Signal RGB is not a virus and it never will be. Some antivirus applications might flag Signal RGB as a virus, and that's because of something called a false positive, which is when an antivirus thinks an application is a threat, but it actually isn't. You can whitelist Signal RGB in your antivirus to resolve the problem. Why aren't the game integrations working? If the game integrations aren't working for you, then it's likely because you aren't meeting certain requirements. To learn more about these requirements, watch the game integration tutorial, which I'll link in the video description. This is the end of the video. If you had a question or issue that wasn't covered, then check out our troubleshooting document for information on other issues and how to resolve them. That's also going to be linked in the video description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to get notified on new Signal RGB videos.